Uh, I appreciate the sentiment, but yeah, to be honest, like if I'm going to be dealing with hunters, I just want the Magnum. Everything else is just inefficient, to be fair. I mean, the rocket launcher is a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, and it absolutely has its purpose. But, you yeah, know. I'm pretty sure there's more enemies to fight up this way. Oh, there's definitely going to be some cargo to salvage. Don't you worry a little head about that. And a warthog as well, which, well, I mean, we have three of them so far. Do we need three warthogs? Probably not. Yep, that's the last thing we need. Dropship's plasma cannon warming our assholes up. Good thing we have this overshield. Oops. Misclicks are definitely uh, an issue in this game. Come on, there we go. All right, we'll take it. Now, can I be bothered to go back and get an overshield? Uh, phew, well, actually, there's one there, isn't there? I thought we grabbed that earlier. Um, we are. We need to be injured though. That close should do. There we go. Don't mind if I do. Why well, have one shield when you can have three? Let's go see if our boys are still alive down here. Do we have any other grenade? Uh, I don't think we have any other grenades. But we have some more of these now. I actually forget what the uh, swap grenade button is in this game. <clears throat> I do have it mapped to my mouse somewhere, but... Ah! It was, um, it was not that one. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, nobody saw that. It was just me and Cortana. It's, it's fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah, but seriously, what is the change need? But, ah, it is two on the keyboard. I thought it was. Got ya. Well, nobody saw that. You know, that's fine. I mean, casualties happen, right? Some more nades. Lovely. I mean, we're still alive, and I guess that's that's the important thing. So, let's... I mean, technically, we can go back this way. And we can drive all the way around the island. As you see, this island's not as big as you think it is. That's where we went in. There's a good allusion, actually, to how big this island is. Ooh, all right. Easy, fellas. Easy. I'll be back with you in a minute. I'm going the long way around. So there's something there. Yeah, that what I was going to say. That wasn't in the original. So there's some kind of forerunner thing grown into that. Into that rock, which is interesting. Could that be part of 343's insane experiments? Maybe. All right, guys. I need some replacements. Don't ask what happened to the other guys. They're probably fine. Let's just say their, their journey has come to an end. Yeah, I spent ages like fortifying this place as well when I was a kid. I would get all the um all three warthogs and I'd put them in strategic situations and I'd try and uh get as many of the soldiers to survive to make this place as defendable as possible and uh I was a very dull lad. And again, looks like we've got the fun guy with us. Right, fun guy. Light these guys up, please. 
Evening, gentlemen. Evening. Oh, I do love how the warthog handles. Where it just kind of like fishtails all over the place. Uh, iconic. Ah, looks like he has his weapon charged. That's not great. No running in these hallways, that's right. <laughs> there is no extra, my lad. Let's go wash that blood off the vehicle. Now. Ah, somebody's been squished. We like that. Whoop. I thought that almost looked like the Starship Enterprise or something up there, but... Maybe I'm just a small brain, which is possible, you know. Right, so let's go grab the skull. Whoop, famine skull. Oof, we don't like the famine skull. If you put the famine skull on, it usually halves your ammo. And halves the amount of ammo you can pick up as well. It is, uh, it's, it's not a fun skull. There are worse goals, obviously, but yeah. I believe there's one Halo where the famine skull is really draconian. It gives you something like um, only 10% of the ammo that you would have got or something. Yeah, it makes some lasso runs pretty pretty difficult. Okay. Evening. How's it going, guys? Did you miss me? Of course you missed me. Oh, you know what's really annoying? I forgot to pick up the rocket launcher. Wow. Uh, do we care about the rocket launcher? Uh, probably not. We will be having fun with the rocket launcher, just not here. Oh, that was a poor shot. That was also a poor shot. All right, he's done. There's no point having your back against the wall, sunshine. It's not going to save you. Okay. Uh, it's fine. We won't bother going all the way back just to get the rocket launcher. Let's dive deep, deep into this unknown. There's another rocket launcher down here anyway, so it's not a big deal. Now, if we go over here, we can get a cutscene shafted. I remember this scene was used in a lot of the promotional material. Now, I'm pretty sure in the original, uh, Chief doesn't kick a Covenant weapon down there. He kicks a stone or rock or something. Where are you, you worm? Come on. Make yourselves heard. Wog, 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 wog. Come on, you walk, walk bastards. There you are. All right, you're going to make this fun, are you? Nobody's talking to you, Grunty. Yeah, remember when I said this game's got good AI? I stand by that. But sometimes, the AI definitely derps up. And it is these little derps that do make the game fun and feel sandboxy. The sandboxy combat was always a big part of this one. And it's something that Halo has always like tried to stay true to. Big open maps, full of enemies. Uh, not always big open, but you know, they've always felt like pretty large scale. And it just gives you lots of weapons and lots of toys and vehicles to play with, to experiment with however you want. There's no set guaranteed way through 
with which weapons and etc. You know, you can really experiment and have a lot of fun with the engine. Obviously, the original Halo is very limited in comparison to these other games, but uh, the newer games. But you know, the uh, you know the start of the franchise is here in all of its glory. Yeah, probably you don't want to fall down there, although you can fall down there. Uh, we won't risk it because we'll miss a load of enemies out. I don't know who he thinks he's pointing at. Stinky bastard. That's fine. Okay, now. Need to make sure we've got some grenades on us. And we do need to have a somewhat decent amount of health as well to get the last skull on this level. Because we're going to need to do a grenade jump. Oof. And that could actually require some reloading and a little bit of patience. Because by God, it's been a while since I've done any kind of grenade jumping. Okay. Looks like these guys came down here. Probably not the best place. Yes, I hear you, hunters. I hear you. All right, let's go deal with the hunters. Come on. And you. Oh, hello. Oh, you sneaky little sausage. Well, that's going to leave a mark on him anyway. All right, nice try. Whoop. Now those two are dealt with. I suppose we could pick up a... Oh, no, the rocket launcher's further down. Yes, yes. I think there's another med kit there. There is, yeah, cool. We might need that on the way back. Maybe. Most likely. Right. Who's next? That's a long way down there, isn't it? Yeah, good luck, guys. Ah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay, so, yeah, uh, all those guys that we left outside, rest in pepperoni, I guess. Uh, and I say, when I say all of those guys that we left outside, there was two of them. This is not great odds. Not going to lie. Now, I believe, actually, if we go down this doorway, uh, I think there's an active camo that we can get there is Yink. we can actually just jump down that ledge and start causing mayhem there and then but uh, is there actually anything down this side ah this is like the main way down isn't it yeah whoops I've got to rebound <laughs> rebind that button I have to alright buddy Poke. Poke. God damn these grunts. They're not the smartest, are they? Evening. Boop. Boop. Yeah, some phantom is just smacking me around. Well, it was fun whilst it lasted. It does sound like we've got an elite around here somewhere. We should have. Grunts are very rarely on their own. P 
probably could have snuck up on those guys. Hello? Where are you hiding? There you are. Yes, come out and allow me to introduce you to my little friend. Arr! Oof. Right. It should. So. Hmm. There is an overshield there. Um, have I missed the skull? Possibly. One second. Okay, so I think I actually have missed the skull. So, uh, oops. I'm going to have to put that in here afterwards. I'll edit it in. Halo's control center is located there. That structure appears to be some sort of temple or shrine, if I've interpreted this correctly. Uh, you could say that. Right, let's get out of here. Now, we might not actually be screwed in, um, in getting the skull, actually, because technically this level doesn't end if we don't get in the back of the dropship. So... Let's see if we can't be a little sneaky. Well, looks like these guys have got past. These guys have got past those soldiers. I believe this track is called um, Gun Pointed at the Head of the Universe. Either that or it's called um, Metal Track for Saving the Universe or something. Some of the soundtrack names in this game are pretty 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 on the nose which I appreciate come on there we go oof looks like there is a few of them I guess they really didn't want us to get out of here did they or get their precious map that's fine Also, maybe there isn't a rocket launcher down here. Maybe that's on the easier difficulties, perhaps. Well, no matter. We can fix these things. And we'll get plenty of uh, time with the uh, rocket launcher later. Where it's much more useful. In this level, this level you just blow up enemies with it, enemy soldiers, which you know, yeah, it is fun, but it's not exactly required. Where are you running to, you cowardly fucker? Honestly, I've never seen such cowardice from an elite. I'm shocked and appalled. Well, he's dead now, so that's all that counts. Okay, so. Th through the winding path. Because we've got a boat to catch. Hello? Yeah, now there is another change as well. Yeah, one thing I like, okay, in the original game, which is not illustrated in the new um, updated graphics, when you fire your gun, you hear all the brass rolling all over the floor, and you can see the brass, and it's actual 
brass. <laughs> All those spent shell casings. And you can see the way they bounce and roll around. That's one thing that I loved with Halo. And unfortunately, with the updated graphics, they, they seem to have omitted that, which is a shame. But that's another one of the little things that made it feel so good. You know, because we'd never seen anything really like that before. You know, you could always hear the brass... Oh, in some games, you could hear the brass rolling around and stuff like that. But you could never really see it. Although, one of the games that I think handled it quite well... Was Blood. The original Blood. That game was fun. You could leave piles and mountains of spent shell casings... Which was always a good time. Any more? That's what I thought. We can grab some ammo. Apparently we needed that med kit too. We came, we saw, we fucked shit up, we left. It's kind of what Chief does, to be fair. You know, there was something very ominous about the original graphics as well. Which is sort of lost with this new shinier coat of paint. I mean, the new graphic update isn't bad, not at all. It's uh, very colourful and very nice. But yeah, there's, there's definitely a tonal shift. Which is unfortunate. And we took some damage there. Woof! Woof! You spicy motherfucker, you! <laughs> it just bitch slapped into oblivion. Oh, you'd love to see it. <laughs> Cheeky little git. Alright, well. Once more we're feeling, huh? Right, he's done. Let's wait for that shield to come back. Now, one thing that is interesting on the different difficulties as well is... And I think this carries on throughout pretty much all of the Halos. On the easier difficulties, your shield actually regenerates slower. Whereas on the harder difficulties, your shield regenerates quicker. Which is cool. And it's really bloody noticeable in Halo 2, for instance. Ooh. Ooh. Not sure why we got zero score for those two kills, but whatever. Didn't know you could get zero score for kills. Huh. Come on, you sack of shit. Let's be having ya. Oof. Ooh. <laughs> I love the way they laugh. It's so funny. No! Didn't laugh at that, did ya? Huh? Huh? That's right. Okay. Hmm. Ah, lovely. Well, that level was just pure bliss. Right, let's go grab these nades. Now, I do like the way the pelican swoops in. Just as the other dropship departs. Right, uh, wait there, Fohammer. I need to see if we can still go get that skull. 
So, yeah, this is going to be a, a bit of a walk, unfortunately. Oh. I mean, maybe not. Ooh. Come on, traction control. There we go. Uh, there should be no enemies. So this is essentially the end of the video now, but let's just, for science, see if the skull's still there. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go back. Um, so I guess that means we need to go all the way up here. All right, I'm going to cut to it. Okay, so the skull we need... Hmm... Ah, right, that's where we were going wrong. So, we need to come out here. I see. And we need to do a grenade jump. And, oof. Not like that. So, a lot of these skulls uh, actually have incredibly challenging... Um, puzzles, well, not puzzles, but you have to pull some serious strats to get some of them. This actually might be easier if we were doing a rocket jump, to be honest. But I didn't bring the rocket launcher for a ride, so I guess more for me, huh? So, oops. Ah. <laughs> All right, this might take a while, so I'll spare you the pain. All right, <laughs> we did it. It took a few attempts, but we did it. And when I say a few attempts, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean a few. Uh, a few. Quite a few. More than a few. Tons. So, anyway, guys, I'll meet you back when we get uh, to the dropship. Just found like a couple of other little things that uh, interesting artistic choices, shall we say, with the remake. Um, so if we look in the OG Warthog HUD, you can see there's like a scanner and all in there, some interesting stuff going on. But you've also got the um, speedometer in there as well, um, which is cool. And you can see how much power is being delivered by the vehicle, which none of that is actually present at least to my eyes, in the remake. It's a rather static console, which is a bit of a shame. Another thing that I always thought was a bit weird. So if we throw a grenade into the water. That's what we get. It's... Alright, I guess. Whereas in the original... I thought we got way more impressive effects. Way more. But, you know. Small little differences, I guess. I guess not so small when we use the rocket launcher, but... Anyway, let's get out of here. I do love playing with the physics. Ah, that skull. That was a bit of an effort, I'll be honest. But uh, I don't think it's the hardest goal to get in the game. Uh, in fact, there's a few other tricky little parts that we've got coming up. All right, let's get out of here. She's not wrong, to be fair. 
So the next mission is loads of fun as well. One of my favorites. I say that, one of my favorites. Like every mission in this game is one of my favorites. <laughs> They're just so much fun. But anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, well, we're going to continue the assault on the control room. Until then, guys, thanks for watching.